everyone, my name is Alexis and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this Escape the Night Season 3 inspired makeup. Yes, this makeup is supposed to be very bold, very, very neon colored. It's supposed to be very weird, including the lip. I really wanted this makeup to be inspired by the clown presence in this season along with the neon colors in the promo picture and just the 70s vibe I get from it. And also Season 3 is one of my favorite seasons ever, so I really wanted to go full in on this one and I'm really happy with how it went. You guys should let me know in the comments below what character I would be in season three with this makeup because I have no idea. Definitely not a makeup artist. But before we get started, if you guys want to see any more Escape the Night content for me or any content in general, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps my channel out. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Alright, I'm starting with my eyes already primed like always and I went ahead and did my makeup on my chin because I'm having a really bad breakout right now. Starting with a hot neon pink to represent the color of our cheeks when we first met Mortimer, apply that in a halo shape on only half of your crease. Don't worry about blending it out, we kind of want a harsh line to sort of look like clown makeup and as well as it's okay to get some on your eyelid because it'll help us blend the lid color later. Next. Taking a purple color that matches the carousel purple, do the same thing on the other side of your crease like the pink. Go ahead and grab a flat brush and with a matte white that looks like the twin dolls faces, put that all over your lid. Don't blend it out too much, but if you want to blend it like I did, all I did was pack it onto my lid and then I moved my eye around and the shadows transferred into each other. For the eyeliner, it's going to get tricky and you're going to need a lot of patience. Get a foundation or a concealer and a brush and draw your eyeliner shape with it. This will give us a clean base to make the red liner more vibrant. Once that's done, set it with a skin tone powder and take a liquid red liner or eye safe lipstick to match the hair of Sally Slaughter, which by the way, had the best fit out of all the clowns in season three and go over where we traced out our line. It's okay if it gets a little wobbly, we can clean it up in a second with a makeup wipe. Speaking of, once that color is all down, you can go ahead and clean it up and set it with a red eyeshadow to keep it all in place. I went ahead off camera with this very, very poor transition and did my other eye and then began on my face all except the lipstick, under eyes, and highlighter. To flush out the color of our lips for the purple later, go ahead and use a concealer or foundation and put it on your lips, blend it out, and set it with a powder. I didn't have this specific color, but I just mixed a bunch of eyeshadows together to make a teal to match Miss Rosanna's jacket and put that in the inner half of my under eye. And then taking an orange to also match her leggings and Matt's jacket, I put it on the other half and blended the two in the middle. Finally, to match the carnival ticket and pull the neon colors together, I put a dot of yellow in my inner corner and feathered it out. For highlight, I took a silver color to match Joey's hair and put that in my normal highlighter spots like my inner corner, my brow bone, my cheeks, and my nose. Finally, for the lip color, I took the same purple that I used on my eyelid and went ahead and packed it in the middle of my lips. It helped me out to use a brush and make a kissy face to find the center of my lips so I didn't make the purple bleed out too far. And once you're finished, do your hair and put on your outfit and the look is complete. I know my lips are cracked. I did it on purpose. I wanted to dry them out because clowns have that nasty looking lip thing going on. I don't know. I just wanted it to be somewhat inspired by that. And nor the thunder that is literally about to blow my house down. But yes, I know a lot of people aren't going to like this look and that is okay. But just again, know that it is inspired by the neon colors and the clown presence. So it doesn't necessarily mean that this is an everyday look. It's just some crazy makeup inspired by a crazy 
tonight's show. For my sunny shout out, it goes to Azzy.all on Instagram. Azzy, thank you so, so much for supporting my videos. And if you guys want to be my next video sunny shout out, all you have to do is either leave a comment down below, retweet my videos, tweet when I tweet out this video link, or repost this onto your Instagram stories and make sure to tag me at Alexis.Paradise and all three ways will automatically answer you in. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more content from me, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, you can leave me future video recommendations in the comment section below. One last thing, if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload, please hit that bell button next to the subscription button. That way you'll see my face in your subscription box whenever I upload. All my social medias are linked down below. And yeah, thank you for taking a vacation to my paradise. I hope to see you soon. Bye!